You know, bikini season is right around the corner, and if you are trying to lose weight, we have just the diet for you. Studies show that when people are put on a diet based on their DNA type, they lost more weight than the fad diets. I'm joined now by Tamara Renee, um, and she's here to tell us how the secret to losing weight may be in your genes. Welcome, Tamara. Oh, so you, is it really your genes, your DNA, the perfect blueprint to how you should be eating and exercising? Well, absolutely. What we do is we take your DNA strand and we actually analyze that in the laboratory. And then we come out with your precise diet and exercise needs. Now, I mean, all of us want to, all of us want to look good. I mean, come on, that's right. We yeah. all are we're public figures, especially you and I. And But everyone wants to feel and look their best always. And if you are wasting time on a diet that's not tailored exactly for you. No pun intended. Seriously. <laughs> it can be really exhausting. And I find that it really eats away at people's self-confidence and ability to try again. Yeah. yeah, because then they feel like they failed. And yes, anytime I try to diet, I am miserable. Yes. I'm cranky. I feel like I'm depriving myself. And I end up gaining more weight. So I don't even do that. I just try to you know, eat healthy and exercise. But I would love, like I've always got that extra five pounds I've never been able to take off. Four kids, I've, that five pounds sticks, sticks on. And I know you viewers know what I'm talking about. Whether it's five pounds, 50 pounds, 150 pounds, it doesn't matter. There's a, a formulation that's right for us and our genetics, right? Right, your individual system. So you know how like the, you people just say, um, I always say t test, don't guess. I don't like waste time anymore. If you're going to put any effort into something, make sure that it's ideal for you. And then, you know, you're saying that, that last five pounds and that dieting has been so, you know, gruesome yes. for you. Well, the idea is if you're not eating the right foods for you, you could be still eating healthy foods, but not your foods. So it might not make you feel superb. It's not for you. So then. tell us about the difference between my foods, foods that my body's supposed to be eating, opposed to just healthy foods. Do the other kind of foods, would they, would they uh, counteract with my inflammatory system? I don't know. Well, there's so many things, inflammatory, mm. blood sugar, and so on. However, the point is, is it's really the ratio of proteins and carbs and fats that will work ideal for you versus possibly me. Okay. So for an example, a good dinner. A good dinner for someone that should be like on a low fat diet would be like lentils and brown rice and some steamed broccoli. What and about then, protein? Well, they could use non-animal protein sources as complete proteins. Okay. But for someone that would have like a high protein dietary need, could never. They need to be like on grass-fed beef with sauteed God, asparagus. That's, I think I'm that person. I know. Maybe you just <laughs> want to be that person. I think I am because I feel better when I have lean proteins. Yes. Well, and then too, like yep. certain people can get away with rich proteins as well. It just has to be clean. I'm always a big proponent on clean, healthy, you know, food from our from our soil. I like that. Yeah. With no preservatives, growth hormones, right. or anything else. Real Ugh. food. That's just contaminating our bodies. Yes. So tell us the process, because it could be, you know, your body, your DNA could tell you you should be a vegetarian. It could tell you that you need proteins and, and low fat and lean carbs. There's just so many different formulations, right? Correct. And, and what it, how does it tell you about exercise? Well, it tells you from your DNA and, and studies whether you would be best doing cardiovascular exercise or weight training or burst training. And if so, how much? Yeah. And how is that not only affecting being lean and looking hot, okay. but also affecting your, meta, your heart risk factors? Oh, so that's so brilliant. interesting. Amazing. And if we want to live longer and have a quality life, because there's quality. no sense of living longer if you're going to be miserable and in pain or in the hospital, yes. right? We have, the idea is to live longer and have a good quality of life. Okay, tell us what we do next. All we do is we take a saliva sample. Okay. Do you want to do it? Yes. Let's do it. You no, I gotta to, spit on this camera. This is the non-sexy <laughs> part of it. Normally, the sexy part of it is me giving you the results to get your sexy body. How long does it take after I spit in this a bottle? A couple weeks. Okay. A couple weeks. You have to give a full saliva sample. There you go. I don't want to gross you guys out, so hold on. <laughs> to keep sitting in it, and I always recommend it. Is that enough spit? No, it's got to go oh all God, the way. Oh my God, not a spitter. What do you think, I'm a camel? <laughs> hold on, keep talking. It is so Tell funny. us the process. So you say, tell it's us. funny though, but whenever anyone starts to go ahead and need to spit, they always they get dehydrated. That's got to be enough spit. It's got to go all the way to that line, my dear. Oh my gosh, okay, let's keep talking. I'll fill yes. it during break. <laughs> I don't so know, anyway, spit, I'm not okay. a spitter. Let okay. me tell you the process. So we take that and we send that off to the laboratory. The okay. laboratory sends us a 51-page detailed report. I'm kidding. 
<laughs> I'm thirsty Don't now. scare me. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. And then we actually, I, once I get that report, I actually then create your ideal meal plan and exercise protocols that's specifically tailored for you. And then I'm superb at helping you roll it out in your life. So I take an, uh, a really good assessment of yeah. like where you get stuck at and like what are your time frames and what are your commitments whether yeah. you're a mother or a career woman and or some both. people are morning people some people are yes. you know like to work out in the evenings or that's Very when they hit their point. low yes yeah and that's so then awesome. i teach them and we roll out a model so that it's sustainable because listen a lot of times the lab can give you information but if you don't know how to implement it yeah. you don't have the means to like break it down yeah. then it really probably is not going to be something you ingest and actually stay Yeah, but I heard of people eat and exercise for their genetic makeup that they are happier, that they feel better, they have more energy, and they lose weight, right? Two and a half times Increased more. Increased energy, right? Yes. Well, vitality is Normalized at the core appetite. For what I have found, you know, I'm an obesity survivor of 25 years now. Wow. And I had no idea. I only did it only to lose weight. You were obese? obese. Look at her. She's yes. totally lean. She's making... 168 pounds. So. I didn't even want to sit next to you because you're oh, so come lean. come on. <laughs> you were really? Yes. But, I, you know, I struggled with a lot of self-confidence issues. And then what it did for me, though, is it, it not only gave me the body that I'm proud of, but it also gave me the energy and the vitality, which mm -hmm. allowed for me to be present with other human beings. And before that, I was just wallowing in my own internal dialogue, and I'd be sitting there comparing myself against you versus actually present yeah. and listening to you and enjoying you. And, be, so, and loving yourself, which yes. is so important, right? And I think with all of my skills combined and the science to aid me, I have very high success rate. Hmm. And it's so rewarding. I've just found an ideal career for myself. It is great. And you have years of, you're a fitness expert, nutritional expert, years and years and years of expertise behind yeah. this. So I, I'm glad that, now how did you find out about this whole DNA? Diet? You know, I am a teleseminar webinar junkie. That's how, you know, with modern day technology, that's how I continue my education. Hmm. And I, I heard it coming out in around 206, 207. And then people that I was, that I considered my mentors, were talking about it more and more. So then I started researching labs. Yeah. And I wanted to find the labs with the deepest studies and the labs with the widest variety of things. So mine actually test um, like your vitamin deficiencies. Wow. And it tests your, all your metabolic risk factors. So now I can work on not only key, getting the body and the energy that you want and deserve, but I also get to work long term with you. And I also know how to test your current state of condition to see if those vitamin defects are actually currently yeah. deficiencies. Because they can you. also trigger you. If you have vitamin deficiencies, trigger you to crave things that are not good Absolutely. for you. Absolutely. And it, it could really just drain you of your energy. Okay, so this is going to take three weeks. We'll come back on the show and you'll read my DNA, which uh, genetics is huge right now. I mean, it's I wish we were doing everything. this uh, you know, decades ago. So you'll read it to us and you'll figure out what I should be doing. In the meantime, during the break, you're gonna put me on a fat burning type of meal plan yes. until then. So, cause I gotta be in the, I have a goal to be in the best bathing suit shape of my life. And I've had four kids and I'm, well, I'm in my 20s. No, <laughs> we know I'm not in my 20s, but. Close, close. <laughs> Why'd you laugh? Okay, so we're that, this is gonna be to be continued. This is yes. a developing story. Now, well, let's pull up your website so people can get a hold of you if Thank they wanna you. try this as well. Tamara Renee, DNA Diet Method. There it is, 800 657 0644. Thank you so much for coming Thank on Prime you, Time. Taylor. And the best of success. And let's Thank hope that you, my DNA comes back that says I can eat protein because I like it. Right. Okay. And chocolate, right? I don't eat chocolate. Oh. I just like protein. All right. Thank you so much. We'll be right back.